and welcome to the world of Odium. This is episode two, and today we're going to get started a bit on our farm. Oh. So I've been uh, clearing out the area a little bit more, kind of straightening things up, gathering a few supplies here and there. The Endicots are getting ready to start building their home. And I, I can now tell you exactly what we are doing here because that information has been released. Um, the new province here is based on Salem, Massachusetts during the time of the witch trials in around 1692. But the idea is what would have happened if these um, witch trials would have continued into the 1800s. So over in the actual town proper over in that direction, uh, there's a lot of new builds going on. We're not going to sneak over there today. I want you to check out the other members of this server's channels to see the builds are doing themselves. Instead of me showing that all to you, I will list links to every single one's channel down below. And then you can uh, get to there and give them a look at... Um, there's some fantastic stuff going on here with Protus Vault is redoing this whole area over here where our uh, nether portal is for this particular one and he is just doing an absolute gorgeous job of that and all the builds in town are just looking absolutely fantastic so please 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 check them out anyways this build is going to be made primarily from dark oak there's going to be some spruce in it as well as some stone and other things. First thing I want to do is I'm going to get myself some uh, uh, planks here. Uh, that's way more than enough, I hope. Um, I did um, set up an initial build for this in a, a, in a test world on my side. Uh, just so that I, I've got an idea of it and I showed it to everyone on the server and everyone was very happy with it and they did offer a couple of suggestions and those have been incorporated as well. So we're going to start by laying out the area here. So, so the house is going to be facing towards the mountain here. We're going to be about starting here. I want a little bit area off the side because I'm thinking about doing some something like a pumpkin patch or something over here. And I may need some help with getting that to look nice. Um, but we'll see when that comes. Now I'm going to come across here and this is going to be 11 wide going this way. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip one, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then it's going to be a total of 7 deep. So I need to come back 6 more. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We're going to come back out another 11 across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. This side I'm going to leave open at the moment because th this side of the house is actually where we're going to have the hearth of the house. And um, that is going to be a very, very large fireplace. Um, and if you look at some, you know, like traditional homes during that time, they had a very large fireplace where they did cooked all their food and whatnot in there and that's the concept that we're going to do let me dig out the floor here and we're just going to fill all this in with some smooth stone and then later on we'll kind of rough it up a little bit to make it look a little more lived in but right now I'm just kind of going to rough this up a little bit not rough it up. Dig out this dirt. And I broke that shovel. Okay, that was just a wooden shovel anyways. Got this iron shovel. 
been doing a little bit of mining, but I haven't found any diamonds yet. The armor that I have and this uh, pick and the axe and whatnot I, were given to me when I started in here. But I don't have a diamond shovel yet. It's okay. Half of the fun, too, is trying to find some of this stuff yourself. If everybody gives it to you, it's, it's cool and everything. But, you know, where's the adventure in that if you can't find it yourself? All right. I need, actually, let me come over here real quick. And I'm going to make myself some stairs. Put that back up here. There we go. And we are going to put in, not that, jump up here. Uh, let me uh, dig these two back out here, here. There and there. Same thing on this side. Here and here. And if you're wondering, these are, are the windows for the front of the house. Let me get this uh, get another stack of that over here. Let me start building up the front of the house. All right, so we're a total of five high. One, two, no, oh, that's not what I wanted. Two, through three, four, five, five, there we go. Two, three, four, five. Skip those two. Two, three, four, five. It's like it's starting to get to be nighttime. And then we got this is going across here we put our stairs there and then there'll be a two wide window here come across here this is our door and then it'll be the matching thing over here let me go ahead and sleep for a little bit and i'm going to finish the front of this house and i'll be right with you Okay, I got the front of the house uh, finished up as far as the first floor. There'll be a second floor that's going to go on top. I just want to build this one floor at a time before we start going too crazy with this. Uh, so now we're going to come to this side of the house, and I'm going to... Oh, n not with those. <laughs> Let's try this again. I keep seeing this beacon I've got here, and it makes me jump. I'm thinking there's a creeper over there just because of the color from it all right and then we're going to come across this way and straight down here here and then we're going to put one in the center like this stair there stair there nope that's too high Okay, desert rat. There we go. Stair there. Okay, there we go. And there. Now that's the side of the house. Now, oh, there we go. Now the back of the house. We're only going to have a window on this side here and the reason for that is because there's going to be a stairwell that leads up to the second floor and it would be covering that window anyways so we're just going to ignore that and we're going to go ahead and uh, do this and come across here Okay, and then I'm going to fill this in here. Some more dark oak here. All right, 
got that. And then we are going to put our stairs there and there. So now we've got a window on this side as well. Okay, now the fireplace hearth. I do need to make myself a bunch of stone bricks. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. I'll leave a couple of regular ones here. I'm going to take like 16 of them. Let me run back over this way real quick. into my hidey hole and when I did um, do a little bit of mining down below there just to do that I was doing some glass we're gonna put these in here and get a couple pieces of charcoal here and I'm going to make us some uh, cracked stone bricks that we can use for some decorations over here let that cook up for a bit and let's head back over here and take a look at our house. Now, I'm going to hold off on this fireplace for a minute. And one of the things I do want to do is we're going to have the upper floor. It's going to kind of stick out a little bit around the outside of the house. knock that off jump up here okay so I want these upside down stairs like this just to give it a kind of a little bit of a definition here just so we don't have a completely flat surface it's bad enough that um, this whole house is mostly um, dark oak which is uh, you know kind of flat um, we may rough it up a little bit um, knock out some of the planks here and there maybe replace them with some spruce or jungle wood or something like that to make it look like there were patches in the wall that were made but we'll see we'll, we'll start with with the basics first um, and then go from there as to what we do as far as making it look a little more decorative or lived in at some point. And for those of you that, that you know, I don't know if, if you actually did any research or anything when I kind of gave you the hint when we put up the sign about this being the Endicott farm um, there was a man by the name of John Endicott Governor John Endicott actually who was one of the original settlers in Salem Massachusetts he was granted a large parcel of land and given several um, farm hands I think that would be the nice way of saying slaves I could be wrong as far as that is concerned but um, he was given a large parcel of land and um, was one of the original settlers in Salem Massachusetts I that's as much of his story that I have and that we're going to use here this is not a town that's based on fact it is just kind of loosely based on uh, histor history with our own spin on it and our own stories as to what's going to go on here now this is a farm it does uh, play in part with the actual history of, of of the witch trials themselves so all right next things next let me uh, take a look at my photo real quick and I'll be right back with you Okay, I had to sleep uh, another night away here because of 
the sun went down and we don't want to be stuck out here with the nasty monsters uh, so anyways I made some stone stairs here uh, I also have my grab my crack stone bricks that were cooking in the oven I put some more cobble in because I'm probably gonna need a little bit more but let's get started on this side and we're gonna come up here I think it's one two and three and do the same over here one two and three and then it comes up from this point yeah, this is correct let me look real quick uh, yes um, and the actual fireplace itself is going to be here and then it's going to come up like this and then we're going to let me see if I can get over here real quick that. Let me do this side real quick as well. And uh, let's see, that's the top of the roof will come there. Yeah. So we have, don't need the shovel right now. Let me go ahead and put this in here, here, and then here, here. this something like that anyways there will be another fireplace in this spot here and then there will also be one up in the attic because we're gonna have like a total of three floors the main floor of the house there'll be you know where they do the cooking there'll be a dining table here the stairs that come up the side here the second floor is the bedroom of the the homeowners the uh, parents and then there'll be an attic above where the children sleep and that is not untypical of the era so don't think less of the people for doing it that way that's just the way things went um, so let me finish off let's see if we can come back inside here I believe wrong thing I need some spruce so let's grab this and I'm gonna let me do that all right I'm gonna make uh, some spruce stairs we need that Gonna need some spruce slabs. And grab another stack of spruce wood. There we go. And we're gonna make planks out of that. Is that, is that a tree? Okay. And there was a creeper over there. <laughs> Let me do this real quick while I'm at it too. Since I've got the spruce planks, one of the things we're gonna do is we're going to these spruce wood doors get them in here and we're gonna go ahead and put that door down real quick there we go don't need the rest of them alright and then the stairwell will go like this that's dark oak we don't want that we want the spruce Here, 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 something like that. Yeah. All right. And then underneath. Like that. Right. 
hang on a second. I need to look at my picture again. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I had a look at my picture. Um, let me see. We're going to take this out. No, that's got to be in there. <laughs> okay, let me put that back. Stark oak. Okay. So, our fireplace is like this. It's kind of deep. You take this out here. And I do have some more smooth, no, smooth stone, which I need, not the bricks. Here, here, and here. So it's gonna be kind of deep. And then the upper portion of this is one, two, three, yes. Okay. No, it's got to be like that. Anyways, I'll, <laughs> there's going to be. Don't you love it when you think you got it all down and then it turns out not to be that way? All right. Okay. So I've got it, it's three tall. And then we've got these uh, stone slabs that are gonna be on the top of the hearth like this going all the way across. So. like that all right and then along the wall here this is actually get my axe back I'm going to knock this out here and the reason for that is the the floor that's here is actually spruce And if we leave this in here like this, it'll look really weird. So we're gonna go ahead and switch over to our spruce. Is it nighttime again already? All right, let me go sleep and I'm going to finish up this floor and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I got the roof put in place. Looks like uh, Banky just came online here. He might be popping over. I don't know. Um, Anyways, that leads up to the second floor. We're going to build up our walls and whatnot in the next episode. But at least we got a good start to the farmhouse. It's about half done. But while we're at it, let's just go ahead and um, get our window panes real quick. Just put them in place just so it doesn't look a little bit oddball for us here there we go there 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 we go. We got this side of the house done. I gotta figure that out. What I did wrong there. Uh, and then uh, let me see. One other thing we can do real quick. Let me see. I need a little bit of spruce. Let me 
copy that. This. No, got it backwards. that okay I need that okay I've got spruce stairs I need a couple of slabs there I need a couple of those slabs as well let's just go ahead and put our little entryway up here so we're gonna use our spruce stair here and here Spruce slab. Um, okay, yeah, spruce slab, not a spruce stair. Here. And we're going to come out. I need this and these. So we'll put a stone brick stair there. Some stone brick slab there. Stair. Stair here. And then let's get our fences. I have one like that. Like that. Let's put a torch over the door. And there we go. There we got our little entryway in front of our house. And there we have it. We have the start of the Endicott farmhouse. Uh, there will be more coming your way here soon. Uh, so keep your eyes open and uh, make sure that you check out all of the other uh, people that are playing here in the world of Odium. They're doing lots and lots of great work. So make sure you check them out. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a great one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.